Hey Mike, do you know anything about weapons? Uh, yeah, I know a little bit about weapons. Cool, let's do it. No, there's more. <laughs> As someone who lives in America, we tend to be obsessed with two things. Self-defense and weapons. And sometimes those two things are related. Today, Mike and I are going to talk about five types of weapons and which one is the best for self-defense. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm beside you now. That's wild. Yeah. Mike and I know what we're doing. This is for educational purposes. Don't try this. Why you got that thing crooked? Because I just got this thing today. That's crooked the other way. What I want to do today is I want to get like an in-depth of using it. How much damage does it cause? I want to try it myself. I want to have it tried on me. What is it? It's a movie. There's a couple of them. There's actually, it's based off a book. You ask people like, what's the best weapon? Right. People immediately, gun guys immediately say gun. When you say best though, that can mean, can I carry it the most places? How hard is it to use? What's the widest array of circumstances it can be used in? Right. While a gun is very effective, yeah. it's only correct in a narrow and particular set of circumstances. Most people always think of the using of the weapon. Well, if I stick this thing in you, you'll stop doing whatever you're doing. That's not the problem. The hardest part is getting it out of your pants and then sticking it in them. That's the hard part. We'll say go is the indicator that you realize you cannot beat this guy in a fight. Because he can't. And go! I specifically felt like I got like two or three. There's a, and there's a chance that those could have gone in? Yeah. Possibly. Typically the wisdom is you want to achieve a control position. Yeah. They think that all I have to do is be like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. that's how they think. They think, oh, just turn, turn your wrist. Yeah. When you start doing this, that's when it comes out of your hand. Yeah, for sure. I also think you weren't punching me. You weren't yeah. uh, he was like trying to take me we'll, down. We'll yeah, ramp it up. Nice. We'll ramp it up. And go. This is better. This is better. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Oh, no. Seth, you know where you're going to? Yeah. yeah you're really I don't think you can beat Brandon here, so. <laughs> just point it at him, man. Just point it at him. Why don't you just point it at him and the fight's over? Just point it at him and the fight is over. <laughs> just point it at him. There we go, we'll call that. So yeah. All right. Anyway, so fighting is hard. Did I get him? Uh, yeah, so there was a time when you, when you went to guard, there was maybe a time where a shot went off. But with hands on the gun, that gun's probably malfunctioning. Yeah. And for the sake of the yeah, game. Yeah, a lot of it I was trying to like just yeah, get and hold that, of it. Gun, you're only gonna get one shot like right. that. And how fucking hard was that? It was hard. Yeah, it was super hard. Apparently not like my forehead. Which brings us to where the weapon ranks. Mike says there's about four criteria for making a good self-defense weapon. Ability to carry, lethality, legality, and the ability to draw it. With those things in mind, this weapon falls under the second best column. But like, deploying a knife? It's- I would imagine that's harder. Well, there's areas where it creates more problems and areas where it solves certain problems. The gun, I just have to point it at you and pull the trigger and it puts a hole in you. Yeah. If it functions. Right. The knife doesn't malfunction, but I have to- I'm not gonna go like this. Yeah, I have to free my wrist and fight and then I can it's again It's I still have to have those empty-handed skills to support using this Do you think more people train like this with a gun or with a knife probably a knife? Okay, probably a knife. It's a little more it's a little more fun with knife stuff You can use like that kind of knife right there. You can like you can go pretty hard you use something like this and You can go like like now we were going to fight like this, like we did with the gun, but um, my forehead was already full of the red stuff. The knife is so insanely hard to use in an effective way against a person who is fighting you. Right. One of my problems on my list of requirements for self-defense weapons, yeah. if I cut Seth here, not much happens to him. Short term, especially. Yeah, during the fight. Yeah. If it's not a disabling cut, yeah. You know, if it's not one that stops him, it's not gonna do anything. To a committed attacker. Now, if you're like, hey, guy, right. I don't know if, and I'm like, Psh. right. If but then again, I'm committing assault. It's super easy to carry. The legality and ability to draw is kind of a gray area, just like the gun, which puts it at number four in Mike's rankings and leaves us moving on to improvised. Big weapons. thing about improvised weapons is not necessarily knowing a bunch of cool techniques with it. While you're walking around, just look at stuff 
and think about how you would use it. Usually it's person with no experience with fighting yep. thinks WWE chair shot. After you practice with stuff and spend a lot of time spending really an unreasonable and unrealistic I was say, amount of time. This is a pretty bent up chair. Yeah, we, we get down. Open mm. and it's a chest pass Ooh. to the shins. Yeah, they do stuff like that. <laughs> Notice what happened. His face comes forward when he does it. Is it fair to say that there's some weapons that are damage doers and there's some improvised weapons that are attention takers? Yeah. Like a jacket, like throwing a jacket at somebody's head. That's is... real. Right. That's real. Okay. People joke because it's in movies and stuff. Right. You throw a hat, t-shirt, jacket at mm -hmm. someone. Spit. They, they have to address it. You can do this wherever you spend the most time. Me, because I spend a lot of time in here, I think about all this stuff. I'm not saying commit your whole life to knowing how to use everything as a deadly weapon. Right. Just understand how people work, yeah. how their minds and their bodies work, right. and understand how much weight can you pick up, how much weight can you swing fast, yeah. how much weight can you retract quickly. What's interesting about stuff like this is that you don't have to learn every specific thing. Your brain does this really cool thing where if you already have a neural pathway is similar enough, your brain can like make them merge. And brain I learned that on Skillshare, which is the sponsor of today's video. That was good, thank you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from people that come from like 150 countries. If you watch this channel at all, you know that I'm a big fan of learning new things in general. And one thing that helps that is a course that I'm taking on Skillshare called The Science of Effective Learning by Dr. Santiago Acosta. Essentially, he talks about all the different ways that we perceive learning and how best learning practice usually happens. Part of it he said, and it just clicked for me immediately. Dr. Santiago quotes Epictetus, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. And so the prerequisite to take advantage of this class lies in acknowledging that we really don't know which techniques are worth our time, which techniques are more effective than others. Bruce Lee, empty your cup. And some more really cool things about Skillshare is one, it's ad-free, so you don't have to lose your brain zone of while you're thinking. There's always new stuff that comes up because of the bountiful amount of creators that are a part of Skillshare. But then three, it's also available in a bunch of different languages. I kinda wanna learn Japanese, that might be next. Look at that. Beginner's Japanese. I can take Japanese now. Hold on. I'm going to save that. The first 1,000 people to use my link below or this code right here will get a month free trial of Skillshare. Again, the first 1,000 people, 1000 to either use this code right here or click the link in the description will get a month free trial. You should really check it out. Think about joining. Now back to the video. The mystery box of self-defense tools, which is improvised weaponry, does rank number five, simply because you can't always rely on what's around you. Now, next up would be uh, probably my least favorite. Pepper spray. Pepper spray. We haven't talked about pepper spray. I mean, we can talk about pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> pepper spray, if you're tough, determined, whacked out, you know, yeah. uncommonly strong or mean or aggressive, pepper spray doesn't care. This is Kristen's. Yep. You know what I mean? I it's like, yeah. you put that on a keychain and and it comes in cute colors. Yeah. You've seen our video on this. This ain't no joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a water gun. Right. Like a squirt gun full of the worst thing ever. And what we saw is a guy who has a, a good amount of training at fighting, have a lot of trouble getting that thing in action against someone who's being honestly sort of friendly. Yeah, right. You're gonna have trouble getting this out. The benefit is if I'm feeling worried, yeah. I can have it out and uh, have it ready and have it just like this. Okay. And the second you're like, wooga booga, I'm like, shh. I'm currently thinking of all of the stupid things I've done over like the last year <laughs> that I would never do again. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, I'm not glad I did it. This is the stupidest thing. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it to you this way. When you ask Johnny Knoxville what the worst thing in the world is. He doesn't. He says this. Uh. <laughs> doesn't Mike seem a little too excited about this? I thought so too. I need another opinion. See, this is Houston Jones. He is probably the baddest dude alive. See, I figured if Houston picked up my FaceTime call, it'd be destiny. I'd have to do it. Give me the milk! I was also kind of banking that he wouldn't pick up, I'm to be honest. I'm kind of banking on the fact that he just probably doesn't. He's very busy. Up. He's got like millions. <laughs> Houston, buddy, you threw. It barely rang once. Tell him, tell him why. So I anticipated that you wouldn't pick up. You were the defining factor if I was gonna get pepper sprayed. It's being pepper sprayed so bad that if I'm like eh, half in, half out, I shouldn't do it. You should do it at least once. Why? Because you need to know the feeling of being forcibly blind for about 30 minutes. Is this the worst thing you've ever done? 
Don't get the hose ready. I'm getting the hot water The out. hose does not need to be ready. Thank you, Houston, for whatever you just helped me with. I believe in you. Good luck. So let's keep in mind that I'm not doing this for fun. This is to see how useful pepper spray really is. He has two pool noodles. And after I spray him, he's just going to keep hitting me with them until he taps out verbally. You season to taste. So you give it to him, and then you kind of assess what it did. Okay. All right? Yep. You ready? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing? It sucks. It subscribe. It hurts. <laughs> when, uh, when Can you hurts see me? Really bad. Yeah, I How see many you. fingers? Three. How many fingers? Two. I'm doing pretty good. Can I wipe it off or is that? I don't recommend that. How's it feeling that cut? Uh, it, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it uh, crept up on you? It's happening eyes, now? In the eyes, yeah. Yeah. So um, he had his eyes closed when I shot and it, it can take a second. I think it's important to remember that this reaction I'm having is nowhere near as bad as it should be. It didn't get my nose, didn't get my mouth. It took a while to get into my eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so obviously it burns, right? Um, Fair. Stinging, like a bunch of bee stings on my face. And then in my eyes, it's inside of the eyeballs, it's really bad. I'm, I've been really trying to um, not close my eyes. It like shut my eyes down. I give this one a C. Uh, okay. I, I a. give it a can't see. Okay. Okay. So, um, that sucks. Um, yeah, pepper spray works. So it's a little bit easier to carry. It's a little bit harder to draw, but you can draw it earlier, which makes it a little more legally sound. It ends up with a ranking of three. Yeah, flashlight. What I'd like to do is I'd like for us to go in the bathroom together and cut the lights off. What's up, Mike? The funniest question I get, dude, is people being like, yeah, right, but does that work during the day? And I'm like, do I need to explain that to you? That, yeah. that it's harder to blind people with a flashlight in the daytime? This, to me, replicates nighttime. You know, you're walking home from dinner or something like that. Or sure. You're, there, there is some ambient light. You are in a, a bad guy, and yeah. you would either come towards me or grab me. And that's the cool thing about the flashlight, is I can use this. I can use this, and you're 20 feet away. All this does is it gives information to me, Robs you of information, plus the impact weapon. Okay. It usually looks like this. We call it, you know, flash, bash, dash. And I go like that. And now I'm over here, by the way. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm over here. I'm beside you now. That's wild. Yeah. What that looks like is I would give that to you and yeah. then be gone in that same instant. And right. you're like, it's not a point of light. It's washed it out completely. Everything. This is what it looks yeah. like. This is what it looks like here. Get in my eyes. You won't get someone who's like, ah, I can't see, Rah! People will put the light on them and they'll like try to like go around it. Yeah. Like you can't just point it at me whenever you want. People right. do really silly things when you do this. Yeah. And the you can carry it anywhere. There's no laws against it anywhere. Right. Uh, I can leave it around for my, my, my kids. Yep. It's applicable in a wide variety of circumstances. Yep. Like it's just really as kind of as good as it gets all around. Right. Obviously a little harder to, stop someone permanently with it mm -hmm. but i mean do you need an explanation that that would yeah show them that so it's it's very hard that, and, and that's actually that's mostly marketing jaggedy really that, yeah that's mostly marketing bro you just got your head split open with a rounded piece of plastic it, yeah and with all that said the flashlight becomes mike's number one self-defense weapon and as I look back on my day and I think about all the pain that I went through to figure out what the best self-defense weapon was, there was only one thing really left to do. 